welcome guys uh, uh, now we will start uh, uh, our first Dixie project uh, when you open a Dixie file you will see here in this Dixie uh, software you can see project edit view insert if you want to go online uh, with the relay and download or check the online parameters like measurement you can click here you have option of options here you have tools option here you have windows and help option so once uh, uh, you open the Dixie um, file you will see on the left side project tree in the project tree downside you will see here devices here you can see online access what we will be having here we will be for example you can add a new project here if you have 132 kv substation you can add a new project 130 substation then you can have here different voltage levels like 132 kv station 33 kv level and 11 kv levels and in each level then you will going to add the new devices we will show you in our uh, next slides in the center here this area you will see the uh, actual input output configuration each and everything we will be doing in the center and on the right hand side you will see here a lot of material a lot of items that we can drag and drop into the device itself so in the downside you can see properties because there is no relay selected so at the moment there is no property available information and diagnostic so this is the little introduction okay here if you uh, want to now make a new substation like you have one substation substation x you have to click this here icon here new and the information uh, regarding the project you have to enter for example project name you have to enter here uh, the project path is a project where the project you want to save obviously this is a default path but you want if you want to change it you have to click on this button and you can change it change it then you have an author you can write the author name or any comment that are really uh, okay once you click create the project then on the left hand side you will see in the project tree uh, menu you will see the name of your substation and different editors uh, which are open now so in Dixie uh, there is new editor is added which was not before available in Dixie 4 and this editor of this name is single line diagrams so when you click this single line diagram then the editor will be visible okay now I have click online single line configuration and you can see now this matrix is shown here this grid is shown here and in this grid on the right from right hand side we will start doing the uh, addition of different components like single line bus bar line isolator R switches let us show you this thing uh, here you can see I have clicked this and then after this menu and then this menu here you can see bus bar is available just you have to drag it and drop this here similarly you can select this connector CT drag and drop cable feeder just simply you have to click it drag and drop so in this way you will start preparing the single line configuration okay here we have uh, drag and drop the different components and we have created successfully our one line feeder uh, this is the bus bar this is the isolator this is the breaker then we have added one CT here then we have adding the ceiling and cable and defining that this feeder is connected to a cable uh, similarly uh, here is the name of the feeder uh, you can double click on it and then you can define the name of the feeder here 
okay now we have add finishing second line uh, diagram bus bar of our, our new figure now the next step will be adding a C protect device just it is very simple under the library option global libraries you have to select the Lixi C protect 5 and just drag and then drop to the workspace so once you drop on the workspace Okay, once you drop it, uh, you will see a dialog open and in this dialog on the top, you have to enter the product code of the device. There are two types of the product code, one is a smaller version and one is a longer version. You can find it on the label of the relay or from the ordering information. Okay, here uh, yeah, you can also get this short code using a tool which is on called online configurator you have to go online with the device and then you can get this uh, short pro uh, product code and you just have to enter after that you have to press verify. here uh, you have to click verify and Tixify will check and verify the product code is valid and if it is valid then it will give you uh, further access and you can see this uh, select application template and here you have several functions available from which you can select okay here uh, uh, among different templates available you can select the required template uh, for example i will be selecting this non-directional overcurrent configuration version 7.3009 and also you have to here select the communication configuration which is uh, from the ordering code you can find after that you have to press ok ok now configuration uh, after uh, selection the uh, Dixie will start to make and prepare the configuration once the configuration preparation is ready now you will see this element uh, 7SJ85 which is an overcurrent relay uh, basically C protect 5 version here you can say uh, C disconnector 1 2 3 up to 3 disconnector you can connect to this relay circuit breaker this element is voltage current 3 phase so here you can select voltage uh, or current uh, in our application we have one disconnector that we will connect one breaker and one CT we will connect Okay, here uh, two disconnectors. It is showing showing three disconnectors, but we need only one disconnector. So what we will do? We will select these two and three. Uh, normally, two bus bar, uh, two disconnectors are required in double bus bar production. We have single bus bar, so we select both. Then right click and then simply we will delete these two uh, disconnectors that are not required. Now we will uh, just uh, drop it the menu of disconnector we will click uh, drag and drop and we will just connect this disconnector similarly we will also connect voltages uh, current current input to the CT okay here we have first connect disconnector then we have connected circuit breaker then we have connected measuring point I is current so we have also connected the current here so we have minimized now uh, now the DC device is looking like this okay now the some functions are available by default and for example if I want to add some any uh, more functions I can go to the overcurrent protection that has been added and then I can select here I want to add this new function which is for thermal overload and just we have to drag and drop it. we have we have also added here another function which is uh, unbalanced load protection we are also we have selected also the circuit breaker fail protection and we will drag and drop here so some functions are by default available in the 5 device and uh, another function that you like you can add from the global library okay if you want to see the settings you just we have to click specific function and then you can see downside 
50 51 over current three phase and just you have to click definite time t1 then you can see further set. so uh, here you can see the menu is open now uh, the function uh, group uh, itself is off and you have other settings also available here so all the functions uh, here you can say definite time t1 if you want to customize as per your requirement you can just have you can go to the properties and then you can change the name of the function itself so uh, it's now very clear that single line editor you are drawing single line diagram uh, of the figure you are putting lot of inputs like isolator status, CD status and then you are putting CT ratio and you are then importing Dixie 5 device and in, in this uh, single line is giving you all the information uh, different uh, 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 this configuration of the relay, different setting of the relay everything you can easily get it